Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to replace your MacBook Pro 2015 speakers. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a new video is released. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. If your speakers are blown like mine, you should replace it. It's not expensive. I bought two of these from eBay. It's not the new one, but it's still good to use. These two cost only $10. You buy the new one, each of it costs like $30. But I want to try the second hand one first to see if it works or not. And I've tested it, it works great. So first things first, make sure that you check the detail information here. At the back of the MacBook, you will see the model number. For mine is A1502. That's what you want to search for on eBay. So when you go to eBay, search for MacBook Pro speakers and then you type in the model number, you will find the right speaker for your MacBook. Because 2015 MacBooks have different releases like early or late 2015. So if they have the same model number, it's fine. If they have different model numbers, you have to check that out to confirm it's correct before you purchase the speakers. And make sure that before you start the process of replacing your speakers, you have to make sure that your Mac here is completely off. And then you flip it over. So you have to remove all of these screws here. So based on iFixit, you need T5 Torx screwdriver and this is the T5 screw and again you can purchase it on iFixit or you can purchase it on AliExpress in my situation I purchased it on AliExpress this is the automatic screwdriver it's about $30 so to remove this, you need the T5 screw. Inside, you need the T4 screw. So we'll start removing from outside first. Now all the screws have been removed, now just remove the cover. So the speaker is here, this is the left speaker, it's on my right hand side. If you flip it over, it's on the left. And this is the right speaker. Removing the left speaker is faster and easier, but the right speaker, you have to remove this part first. But before you start removing, it's very important that you detach the battery first, just to be safe. So the battery is here, remove this plastic cover. Put it aside. Here you have to remove this. So I'm using this to flip it up. Make sure you flip it up, not left or right side. It has to be up like that. On the other side the same. Okay. Now the battery is detached. Now it's time to remove the blown speaker. These are the T4 screws. Now before you can remove this speaker, you have to make sure that you detach its cable from the board first. Now you can remove it. Now you can replace it with the new speaker. Now it's back in. 
make sure you attach its cable back to the board first. When it's snuck into place, you're good to go. Now you screw it back in. Now your left speaker has been replaced. Let's continue to the right speaker. So like I said, the right speaker is a little bit difficult to remove. It's not that difficult, but because of here, you have to remove this part first and detach the cable of the board. This is the board cable. We detach that first and then we can remove the right speaker. So we'll start doing that. So you remove this part first. There are two screws here. Again, it's T4 screw. One, two. Next, you have to detach the cable here. And you put it out of the way like that. Now remove this cable here. This is a speaker cable. Now you remove the three screws here. It's a T4 screw. Now you can remove the speaker and you replace it with the new one here. Again, make sure you attach the speaker cable back to the board. Now you screw it back in. Now you're done. Both left and right speakers have been replaced. Now you just attach the board cable back. Again, make sure it's snug into place. Now you put the cover of your board cable back. Now you're done. The last step before you put the cover back is to attach the battery cable back. Just put the plastic sticker covering your battery back in. And you're done. So you put the cover back in and screw all of these back and you're good to go. So we'll start from the top here. Again you have to change the screw from T4 to T5. Now the two screws in the middle. Now the four screws below. Now you're done. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can replace your MacBook Pro 2015 speakers. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.